Hello everyone, we didn't cook any fish for a long time, so I bought this beautiful mackerel today and I'm gonna show you how you can fillet it, cook it and how you can use it in final recipe. So let's do it! And let's start with vegetable. Today I wanna use chicory and I'm gonna cook it in the sous vide with my sweet pickle. So I mix water, white wine vinegar and sugar inside the pot first. You don't need to measure anything, just make sure you put good amount of sugar so whole mix is nice, sweet and sour. And then you can put some spices. I'm using all spice, bay leaves, dry chili, dry garlic and of course salt. And I'm gonna bring it to the boil and I'm gonna cook it on very low heat, around 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I can prepare my chicory. So I just peel few last layers and I cut it in the half. My sweet pickle is done. All the spices are infused inside, so I can strain it and I vacuum seal it with my chicory. And I'm gonna cook it 8 degrees Celsius around 15 minutes. So the chicory is cooking and now I can start with my green apple puree. I'm gonna add heavy cream, apple cider, salt, lemon, sugar and a sour green apples. The first thing I have to do is to chop the apples. You don't need to care that much about size or shape because we're gonna blitz it everything at the end anyway. And let's give one piece to my food quality inspector and let's see if he's okay. Looks good, so I can use it. I just cut one lemon in the half and let's start to cook it. I mix apples, apple cider, lemon juice, sugar and salt inside the pot. Just put the amount you like and then you can readjust it at the end. And by the way guys, many of you was complaining in the comments because I don't giving you exact recipes and I wanna keep them for my clients who gonna pay me for that. But that's not true at all. Because when I work one on one with my students, I'm not using recipes as well. Because that's my style, how I like to teach people to cook. Stop copying random recipes from everywhere, but actually learn to cook and adjust taste of your recipes for your situation and your taste. So the apples are cooking and next thing I have to start with is my fennel sauce. So I have some fennel here and the first thing I want to do is to cut one in the half and I'm gonna slice it on mandolin so I can use it for my garnish later on. And I keep them inside the water with ice so they stay nice and crispy. The rest of the fennel I just slice it. I also need to slice one shallot and let's start to cook it. So I start with a little bit of the vegetable oil inside the pan and then I put my shallots, fennel, little bit of sugar, fennel seeds and I'm gonna caramelize everything. When I get a little bit of color, I'm gonna deglaze it with water and lemon juice, season it with salt and I'm gonna cook everything until the vegetable will be soft. At this time are my apples cooked enough, so I'm gonna put a little bit of cream inside, bring it to the boil and I'm gonna blitz it properly. Leave it inside the blender for at least 3 minutes, pass it through the chinois and your apple puree is done. At the end you can adjust it with more sugar, lemon juice or salt. My fennel is also cooked enough, so I put some heavy cream, bring it to boil and blitz again.
and my easy Fenevelute is done. And now it's finally time to start with the fish. I have here this beautiful fresh mackerel and the first thing I have to do is to take out the guts and cut out the head. And then I can fillet it. I like this method with two steps. So I cut a little bit first and then I finish it with one straight cut. So I have my fillets ready and the next step is to debone it. So first I cut out the belly with knife. And then I use tweezers to get rid of all the remaining bones. Last step is to cut the skin a little bit so the fish stays nice and flat on the pan. But before I start cook the fish, I wanna prepare few things. Because when the fish will be cooked, I wanna do the plating straight away. So I get my raw fennel and I just cut nice pieces, which I can use later on for my plating. Then I also cut my spring onion, so I get nice shape. And if you enjoying today's recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you still not subscriber, hit the subscribe button down below. So you never gonna miss any of my new video because on this channel, I gonna teach you every week how to cook like a pro at home. And the last thing I need are some nasturtium flowers from my terrace. And now let's finish the fish. So I season it with salt and pepper. And I gonna cook it skin side down until I get good crispy skin. And then I finish it on second side. At this time, I can put my spring onion in boiling water, so it's get a little bit softer. And the last thing I have to do before my plating is to burn my chicory with blue torch. I season it with a little bit of vegetable oil and salt and let's do the plating. And today I'm gonna do two platings. The second one you can see like always on my Patreon page. And by the way guys, if you would like to see my exclusive content, learn different kind of chips, my favorite sauces, see different plating variation or just support my channel, I recommend you to join my community on Patreon and you can also ask me there about my recipes or even your own one and I'm gonna personally help you. So check out the link in the description below and I see you there. And now let's do the plating. So I start with my beautiful mackerel fillet with crispy skin. Then is coming my blanchet, spring onion, chicory cooked in sweet pickle, few slices of raw fennel, then is coming my green apple puree. Nasturtium leaves. Some fennel tops. And I'm gonna finish it with my delicious fennel velouté with green oil. So what do you think guys? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. And if you would like to learn from me personally, so you can move your home cooking to the next level, check out the link in the description down below and apply for my one-on-one -on -one mentoring. And if you will be good fit, I will personally help you with your cooking goals. That's everything for today. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.